the weekend report. Good evening. You got yourself an icy three-day weekend, or at least most San Antonians do. The snow may have finally let up, but the frigid weather hasn't, and the mayor's asking everyone to stay home and to stay off the roads, while the city tries to dig itself out of 13.5 inches of snow and ice. The city street department was pretty quiet this morning until the mayor called. Uh, all we need to do is call them home. Uh, they've been on standby since early this morning. Uh, whatever is needed. Mayor Cisneros wasn't content to sit back and wait for it all to melt. He wanted road graders out on the streets, something that had never been done before in San Antonio. But then there had never been a foot of snow and slush and ice on the city streets either. And we're going to get everything that we can get moving that works working. They went out to attack the city's major cross streets, such as San Pedro, West Commerce, South Cross, trying to get at least one lane cleaned off. At the State Highway Department, they didn't think there was any use in even trying. Too many miles, not enough graders. We're just going to let the traffic take care of it. It starts thawing, they'll whip it, slush it, and dry it out. The fact is, the city of San Antonio doesn't have the equipment to be able to clear a foot of snow off the city streets. In northern cities, they have snow plows that run 30 miles an hour, and they may have 30 or 40 of them. But here, in San Antonio, they have road graders, 10 of them. And if they run 10 miles an hour, they're lucky. So the mayor didn't have any choice. He may have wanted to fight the snow, but he was a general without an army. Given our limited capabilities, given what we now know about traffic conditions and what we now know about the weather in the morning, that putting 800,000 people onto the streets of this metropolitan area at drive time, time tomorrow morning would be a very dangerous situation. Dan Locke, News 4, San Antonio. Now, because of the driving situation, VIA is doing its part to help those who must travel get to their destination safely and without charge. Beginning at 4.30 tomorrow morning, all 300 buses will be running their normal routes free of charge to passengers. The only hitch is the buses may not be running on schedule. And speaking of schedules, all garbage collection will be postponed one day. Operations will resume on Tuesday. When this icy mess does finally melt away into our memories, some San Antonians will be holding on to some recollections that are not so pleasant. The heavy snowfall was simply too heavy, and quite a few structures in our city just couldn't stand up to it. It was extremely bad news for one Hollywood Park family. 36-year-old Robert Blackmer and his 70-year-old father, William, were rushed to Northeast Baptist Hospital this morning after their patio caved in. We've been walking off and on for 45 minutes or an hour, and they've gotten most of the snow off of the cover because it was bowing so bad they knew it was going to come down if we had anything else. Mm -hmm. And it just, sure enough, just happened. <laughs> Ellen's father-in-law is believed to have a broken leg as a reminder of the more than a foot of snow that's fallen on our city. The accumulation was too much for a number of carports overnight also. Fortunately, the only victims here were not human. Some residents at the Pecan Valley Golf Club Apartments managed to move their cars before the roofs gave way. Not everyone was that lucky, though. Some of the awnings around town aren't standing up to all the snow either, and city officials are asking that you not stand under any because they're not safe. It's difficult for ambulances to roll on emergencies with much speed in this kind of weather. In fact, their drivers are being asked not to top 25 miles an hour because of all the layers of ice on the streets. They may not be the prettiest things on the road, but those big 4x4s or four-wheel drives came in real handy today with the roads like they are. A fleet of the trucks took to the streets to ferry nurses to and from their homes and hospitals. Nurses at St. Luke's Lutheran said without the service, many of them would never have made it. Well, if uh, we didn't have these people coming and picking us up, um, I, we wouldn't have staff to take care of the patients here at St. Luke's. So they've made a big difference. How are you getting to and from the store today? Walking. Don't want to take the car? No, it's too messy. Did the storm render you foodless? Snackless. The HEB chain says 11 of their San Antonio Metro stores will remain open for 24 hours. For more information, call the store nearest you. Snow is to blame tonight for a roof cave-in at the VFW meeting hall on 10th Street and Avenue B. No one was injured when it collapsed, but police arriving on the scene at about 8.45 did smell gas. 
CPS emergency crews were called in. They sealed off the leaks. Damage to the building is extensive, and fire crews are worried the outer walls may buckle and crash. Police tonight have blocked off that area. Well, the weight of all this snow has caused numerous coverings to crash on the cars below. Some apartment complexes report that their entire parking lot overhangs have collapsed under the snow's weight, and it may take days before it can be repaired. If you have a sheet metal carport or garage cover, you may seriously want to consider moving your car or possibly face an unpleasant surprise in the morning. Now, so far tonight, we've told you about all the problems the snow is causing in San Antonio. But you know, if you take a look at the fun you can have with it, there are a lot of people who would tell you, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. How many times in your life are you going to find scenes like this in San Antonio? Why, you'd have to go all the way to New England to find a picture-perfect ice palace any prettier than this. State of emergencies like this one seem to bring out the artistic talents in people, the creative create, the deep discover, and the kids well, they just have good old-fashioned fun. Ask anyone, any kid of any age, and he'll tell you the same thing about snow. I went to school at the University of Nebraska, yeah? and I'd forgotten how snow looked until today. That was 15 years ago. Now I know why I'm down here and not up there. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. Don't you like it? Oh, I love it for a day or so, but can you imagine being in this for three or four months? Why are they having so much fun? Well, try not having fun in this stuff. There are projects to work on, sculptures to build, cars to jump. So what do you think of it? I love it. Do you? Love it, yeah. We were going to go to the zoo and uh, got as far as, what, 12 feet out of our driveway. Okay. <laughs> Ever wonder how many ways there are to make a snowman? We're going to make it. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's be serious. Well, first, you roll the snow and pack it and then start building. Of course, if you're having trouble scrunching the snow up to make a snowman and you're getting really frustrated about the whole thing, you can always go... <laughs> and you know something? We're not the only ones having fun in this white stuff. Now, if you get a day off tomorrow, may I suggest you grab a piece of cardboard, take a flying leap, and then slide down a hill because who knows how long this weather's going to be with us. Well, it seems the snow brings out the ham in all of us, and even KSAT weatherman Jim Dawson is getting into the act. The old saying, if you can't beat them, join them, certainly applies in this case. We got dear old Jim, or dear young Jim, as the case may be, uh, rolling a snowman tonight, complete with a top hat and scarf. Now, uh, we have to give credit where credit is due. Jim did warn us about this onslaught last week. Maybe if we persuade him to gaze into a few puddles, all this stuff will begin to melt off into the streets. Not really not over yet. Still uh, looks like we're setting up for another round. Not sure how bad this round is tomorrow going night, to be. Tomorrow night, though. Tomorrow night. We'll, just we'll have a break for, it. for tonight, tomorrow. Just a tiny bit of break for tonight, and then whap, right back into it again. Great. Well, let's take a look, see what it looks like. This is what it was like walking through the parking lot trying to get back in, slipping and sliding just a few minutes ago. This is downtown San Antonio. There's all kinds of ice out tonight. There's freezing drizzle still out. If you're going to be even thinking about driving, just don't do it. Just stay inside. In fact, that's our current temperature, sitting at about 31. Driving on I-10, uh, at least on the Eyewitness News van, not too bad at this particular point, but it's not a good idea to go out driving anyway. Let's take a look and see what we've got for our overnight lows. 25, 24 at the airport. We sat at a high temperature today of 32 degrees at all three locations. Current temperature now, 32, 32, 31. And believe it or not, our overnight low is going to be a little bit higher than that. Calm winds, 95% humidity humidity pressure 30.28 and rising. Satellite picture shows a lot of moisture in the Texas stretching all the way back on over toward the southeast. And please don't call us if you have a big snowman. We have been receiving hundreds of calls about that and I'm sure that yours is the biggest but we'll try to get to that later. And third, if you're wondering about garbage pickup, there won't be any tomorrow in San Antonio. It's basically delayed.